guys, it's Rosebud and welcome to my channel. I hope you find a happy great and I hope this video finds you well. <laughs> Look quite extra today, don't I? Yeah? But let me tell you the truth is, I don't even have foundation on my face. My face was not done, my hair was not done. So the best thing to do was just grab some African uh, tool, <laughs> some African lesser, some Kenyan lesser, threw it on my head and uh, threw a very strong lipstick on my lips and voila here we go look like yay so yeah today is monday and welcome to another episode of german mondays <laughs> yeah and if you don't know we meet every monday and learn some cool stuff about the german language all right and today we want to look at dirty words with the prefix fair Mm -hmm. Despite German being such a rich, rich language, we still find the use of a, the same prefix to turn one word into a different word. And this happens with so many prefixes. prefixes goodness! <laughs> and today we want to look at the prefix fair. And in German, it's not just one word which has been turned to another. We are finding today 30 words which have been turned to complete different words just because of adding the prefix fair. And if you will not find out what those words are, please stay tuned and without further ado, let's get straight to it. We learn cool stuff about the German language. So Germans use the prefix fair in front of many, 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 many different verbs. And when it is used, it is inseparable. The first category. The first category is a list of verbs where we add the prefix fair to show that this verb, this action, was not carried on correctly. For, for example, sorry. For example, verhören. When you're on the phone and on the other side someone is telling you something and you just misunderstand them or you hear the wrong thing instead of the right one. Du hast dich verhört. You just did not hear well. You misunderstood them. Du hast dich verhört. Verschreiben. When you're writing something and you make a mistake, instead of writing uh, great, you write greed. Okay? Du hast dich verschrieben. Or Verwählt. When you're calling someone and you, instead of typing a 6, you type a 9 or a 8. You do hast dich verwählt. When you're working, like me, people without any kind of orientation, when you're working and you want to go to the right, or you want to go to the supermarket, and instead of turning to the right, you turn to the left, you don't find the supermarket because du hast dich verlaufen. When you're driving without a navigation, like, uh, I don't know who does that anymore, but if you drive without a navigation and you don't find your point of destination because you drove the wrong way, du hast dich verfahren. When you're painting, like a love painting, when you're painting and you wanted, I don't know, to make the sky blue and then down you have the green and all of a sudden someone scares you and instead of continuing to paint the green you bring the green to the blue and you're du hast dich vermalt okay <coughs> when you're in love in germany it's believed when you're cooking food and you put a lot of salt a little bit too much to enjoy the meal du hast das essen versalzen okay when you're in a supermarket and you wanted to buy maybe rice and you go to the regale and instead of taking the basmati rice which you always buy you end up going a little bit to the right and you take the yasmin rice du hast dich vergriffen and then there are those days that you are very 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 thirsty and you're drinking very fast and all of a sudden there is food or drink going through the windpipe. Yeah. And du hast dich verschluckt. verschluckt. The next category, my second category, is a group of verbs which has the prefix fair but still gives a 
positive meaning. For example, marriage is a positive happy occasion and it's called verheiratet. Married. When you're in love, the Germans say to be verliebt. When you are when you trust somebody, the Germans say vertrauen. When you understand something like what where I'm going with with this sentence, the Germans say verstehen, understand. So when you don't know how to do something and you still want to do it anyway, the Germans say versuchen, try. If something has not been going right for you, you've been doing it for a long time and you're like, I think it's time for something new. Germans say verändern, to change. When you study hard and you get that dream job of yours, you will be earning quite a big amount of money and the Germans say verdienen, earn, to earn. And then there are those people, friends of yours who you are so close to it's almost like family. You are verbunden. You are connected. And then, I don't know if you remember, but there is a time called the carnival where people like dress up or even Halloween in other countries or I don't know, all those kinds of dress up parties and people do some verkleiden. It's like dressing up. Like, you know, costumes. <laughs> And then, like after the COVID-19 <laughs> isolation, many of us uh, stayed um, home for too long and we had a little bit too many visits to our fridges and we ended up adding a little bit of weight, right? And some clothes are not going to fit us anymore, so we can sell them. <laughs> and Germans say, verkaufen, selling, verkaufen. The third category, like you can imagine, is a group of verbs which have the prefix fair and are completely negative. For example, forgetful people like me, we say vergessen, forgetting, vergessen, forget. And then there is that bee or that mosquito which never want to leave. It's like on the head, on the leg, on the back, it, it's like everywhere but all what you want what you wish for that moment is for it to disappear verschwinden and then there are those of us who are ethnically quite blind i don't blame you i sometimes fall in this class myself where when you see people from a certain ethnicity like black people asian people white people you cannot really differentiate because you don't really how to check those differentiating features right and what happens is that you see a black girl and you think that is rose but no you just confuse them verwechselt and what many people don't get is the difference between affect and effect and they end up interchanging them vertauschen and sometimes when you look at the politics today you go like oh my god it's like you've lost your trust in them. Lost. Verlieren. Verlieren. To lose. And then, this is so typical German, especially those people who don't have private cars, they depend on the public means, and this is a quite big number in Germany. And what they do, it's like they you will see even older women running like a hundred kilometers per hour across the road because they don't want to miss their bus. Miss, to miss, fair passing. There is these things, especially when you're working in public jobs, where the governors in your company will decide to send you to another place to work. The Germans say, versetzt. Versetzen. By the way, are you that kind of person when you are sitting, for example, in a tram or in a train and the person seated next to you has their top or their, their clothes, maybe even their pants, who knows, the other way around, right? It's like the other way around. Are you that kind of person who will tell them? Because I am. <laughs> I have no fears. I know 
no i would just go to them and be like yo sir i think your your pants are the other way around fakiat fakiat home of a fakiat is like the opposite way and what usually we do especially when you are cooking baking you get a a number of ingredients together and you are using maybe a mixture or the hand mixture and you are mixing them together and the Germans say vermischen. <laughs> ah, it's, it's been happening so much of late where you meet people on the road and they have they have pulled down their lower jaw they look they're almost crying I think it's just because of the whole atmosphere the whole COVID-19 situation, everything, everyone just seems so dull and they have their Mine verzogen. So it's as they pull down their mimics. Yeah, verzogen. It could also it could also mean the over pulling of something or something has been done out of proportion. It's verzogen. <sighs> I don't know, sometimes when I listen to the President Trump, even saying that word makes me a little bit crazy, President Trump, sometimes when I listen to some phrases, some things that President Trump says, I kind of get almost aggressive because he says so many stupid things. I'm sorry to say, but he does. And it's sometimes it's just not ethical. It's just... Verwerflich. Verwerflich. Thank you so much for joining today's German Monday and learning with me 30 words with the 30 verbs with the prefix fair. I hope uh, I didn't miss any. If I did, please leave me yeah, those, some of those in the comments below. And thank you so much. Please stay safe, stay blessed and optimistic until... On Wednesday, if you don't know, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and over the weekend there is always a vlog. Until then, please stay safe, have a great week and ciao!